One, I didn't know much about the beginnings of McDonald's, so when I read the script, I was really shocked to find out you know, the true story. Um, two, when I read the script, Rob, Rob Siegel's script, it was, I was quite taken by the idea that I was pulling actively for Ray Kroc at the start of it, and then toward the end was at best ambivalent about his approach to business. Uh, and so I, I thought that's fascinating. I'd never read a script like that before where you're, where is he a hero? Is he a villain? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? And it's kind of a Rorschach test for, for viewers, I think. I think there are certain attributes that he shares with, uh, with Ray Kroc. Um, I think they're both Midwestern kind of guys. They're both hardworking guys. They, uh, neither one of them was given a, a financial leg up in the, in the world. Um, and they both have kind of a forward lean, and I think that's th the similarities. I think that the, the similarities probably perhaps end there, but I think Michael is just fantastic. There's something, Michael is great at playing someone who needs you to believe. Um, he's great at, at playing a desperation um, and, and, and a desire for something, um, but he's also such a talented actor that he can go to the dark, quiet places for you too. He was just, it's amazing. We had, you know, we had tons of conversations and I thought I knew the journey we were going to be on and he did too and we would clock each other and check in with each other all the time but I was just continually amazed at what he was bringing to it that we hadn't discussed. <laughs> I think it's just a, a fabulous cast and they were so much fun to work with. They're all so talented. Um, but, uh, I mean, starting off with the McDonald's brothers with... Um, John Carroll Lynch and Nick Offerman, I, I was looking for round-shouldered American guys, and I think they fit the bill, and I don't know, I'm just such a fan of both of them, and to see them work together just was, was magic, and I think when, when you threw yet another energy in with Michael, you had three different energies in a room together when they were there, and it, it just they made for a really interesting stew. Uh, Linda Cardellini, Laura Dern, of course, you know, hard to beat Laura Dern, she's fantastic. Linda Cardellini is someone that um, I admired her work for a while, and uh, and so thankfully she came and joined us. Patrick Wilson uh, is somebody that uh, I cast in the Alamo way back when, and that's when I first met Patrick, and he's just such a fine actor, um, but they all are. Everybody we have in this movie is just is wonderful. Kate Nealon, everybody from big roles to small roles, everybody was fantastic. It's interesting because I think Michael's pointed out that, that Kroc may have been kind of the first branding machine, if you will, because he had the understanding of the, the iconic brand and the sales tool that was, as well as the name being a sales tool. Um, he understood that the McDonald's brothers didn't understand it. He understood it, um, that there was value in that. One of the interesting things to me was about how, how commerce and capitalism has changed. I think it used to be the McDonald's Brothers brand, which is have a great idea, work, work hard, do it yourself, show up every day, take pride in your work. And I think the other side of capitalism that we've kind of shown in this movie a bit is it's not so much about having a good idea. Yeah, you might have to work hard, but more importantly, know the right investment bankers. So I think that that's kind of the other side of it.